I'm connected. Okay. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Some places on the East Coast is actually almost noon. So, Dr. Michelle Clay here. Thank you for joining me. Good morning. Happy fall to you. Sorry if it's a little loud. I'm by the lake. I have some little feedback. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that you share. Sherry and Miss Karen, I want to give a special first day of fall, first day of a new season message very quickly. I am, of course, Dr. Michelle Clay. I am speaker, two-time best-selling author, doctor of osteopathic medicine, and certified holistic health counselor and clinical nutritionist, making me your your holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally as a result of working with my coaching programs, reading my best-selling book, or watching these live streams, reading my blogs, then I help busy professional women, I help overwhelmed overachievers release their stress simply and naturally so that they can live a free life on purpose and with passion, with good health, happy and in harmony. So let's go ahead and get started. Happy fall to everyone. It's the first day of fall. So this is what is known as the fall equinox. An equinox because the night and the day are equal in length. So from here on, what is going to happen is all of us know the days will become shorter and the nights will become longer. But it's also significant for balance. Like I said, equinox. See, I have on my, my shirt, balance, balance, balance. So for balance, but it's also a time for reflection. You reflect on the things that you need to release and the things that you need to store up. For those who um, are gardeners or had people in their family who were farmers, you know things that you planted in the spring or in the summer, this may be the time for harvest. So the things you've planted, you've been toiling over, you've been nurturing, you've been praying, you've been watching, you've been waiting to bring up the fruit of your labor, to bring up the bounty. So autumn, bounty and balance. But as you, it's also time for harvest, for those who are in colder climates that experience four seasons, then you're also noticing that things are dying. Things are withering away because the season has changed. So this is a reflective time of what is it time for you to let go of? What is time to die in your life? Is it unforgiveness? Is it resentment? Is it a lack mindset? Is it unhealthy relationships? Is it self-sabotaging behavior? Is it negative self-chatter? Is it just plain old stress? Which some of the things that I just named can cause an overwhelming amount of stress. Is it time to let go of a job that isn't going anywhere? Is it time to have some conversations that go on like a broken wheel? Is it time for those to die? So it's really important that right now you are very reflective on what it is you need to release. And once you release that, let's say that you didn't plant seeds that you can harvest now, but you still have time. You can plant something now, but make sure it's something that you want to, that you plant, that you want to reap a harvest in the future that will be fruit and not weeds. Now it's also a time, like I talked about letting go, letting go of emotional things, but also cleansing for our bodies. Anytime that you enter into a new season, it is a time to cleanse, cleanse your home, cleanse this physical home. So if you join me on Wednesday for Wednesday's Wellness Wisdom Pearl with Dr. Michelle Clay, I'll be checking on right here at 7 p.m. CST, which is 8 p.m. EST, then I'll be going over some foods and some herbs that are really good for cleansing for the fall, this change in seasons. 
So just as a quick recap, happy fall to everyone. It is the first day of fall or first day of autumn. Today is the official beginning, what is known as the autumn equinox. Balance, where the night and the day are balanced. Both are equal, but also a reflective time because now you will see things begin to die. So what needs to die in your life? What do you need to release and let go of? And what do you need to pull up and harvest that you have toiled over? So I hope that this has benefited you in some way. I hope that this broadcast, this quick live stream broadcast, has given you something to think about, given you something to reflect on. But don't just stay there. Go ahead and take action. I'm happy to report, as you can see in the background here, I'm out here at the lake been out here for hours. Um, first, I exercised. I did my meditation out here. And just the, the same things that I'm telling you to do, Dr. Michelle has to do it first. Otherwise, I can't tell you to do it. So I was out here journaling, thinking about the things that I need to release, and then making a commitment to myself that I took action. I'm doing it. Forgiving myself and then asking others to forgive me so that I can move forward, I can reap the harvest, and letting those things go that no longer serve in my life. So I pray that this has um, benefited you in some way. Don't forget to join me on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for Wednesday's Wellness Wisdom Pearl with Dr. Michelle Clay. I will be discussing ways that what foods and herbs to use to cleanse for the fall so everyone enjoy this new season this new day and i will see you wednesday so until then be well do something well for yourself i am dr michelle clay i am your holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally. Through my coaching programs, blogs, live streams, and best-selling books, I help you reach your healthy, happy place of harmony so that you can live your free life on purpose and with passion. Make sure to pick up your free life checklist with uh, my own personal stress-free life smoothie recipe at www.freelifechecklist.com. Until Wednesday, be well, do something well for yourself. Have a positive and wonderful stress-free autumn equinox day. Goodbye.